Today on MTG Unpacked, we're continuing our look at the 2022 Pioneer Challenger deck. So this one is Demir Control. So that is blue and black. So there's only so much fun to be had in a game of Magic, and you're going to have all of it. Thwart your opponent's plans before they can even begin, and close things out with a torrential threat of your own. So we've got a battle ready 60 card deck, 15 card sideboard and deck box. Uh, this deck and the others will set you back about 45 to 50 bucks US. So what's the saying here? Spells resolve only because you let them. Yes, this is a typical control deck. You keep saying nope to your opponent and they get uh, angrier and angrier and flip the table. So, not a big fan of control decks, I must admit, but I have played Demir decks in the past. Oh, this has flying sharks. Hello. Okay, we'll take a look at that later. We've got our sideboard, a nice divider here. I'm assuming uh, we'll see that Planeswalker later and the deck itself. So, let's take a look at the flyer, same as all the others. So you've got a bit of a poster here with Thalia, Guardian of Thraben, and a ad. So what is Pioneer? An ad for all of the other decks. So if you want to check those out, let me know in the comments which one you think you would pick up. And let's get into the deck itself. So we'll see uh, with control decks, you normally want to counter pretty much everything <clears throat> everything your opponent does until you have some big game finisher. So we'll see what we've got here. Okay, I'll just cut that right there. You can see we've got a Planeswalker. Starting off with a Mythic, we have Torrential Gear Hulk. Artifact Creature Construct 5, 6 for 6 with Flash. When it enters the battlefield, you may cast target instant card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. Nice. If that card will be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. So, we've got two of those. Temple of Deceit. It's a land and battlefield tapped. When it enters the battlefield, scry one, tap it for blue or black. Okay, so we're probably getting four of those. Yep. Drand Catacomb enters the battlefield tapped. Unless you control an island or swamp, tap for blue or black. So... Two of those. Oh, and a shock land. So they've been putting a token shock land in each one of the decks. So we've got a watery grave, land, island, swamp. So tap for blue or black as it enters the battlefield. You may pay two life if you don't. It enters the battlefield tapped. Okay, so that is a nice include. Dig through time, instant for eight has delve. Each card you exile from your graveyard while casting this spe <coughs> spell pays for one. So that's how you can cast that one a bit easier. Look at the top seven cards of your library. Put two of them into your hand and rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Okay, so three of those. And I forgot about this card, but it's awesome. This one's from Ikoria Enchantment. So it's Shark Typhoon Enchantment for six. One of you casts a non-creature spell. Create an XX Blue Shark Creature Token with Flying where X is that spell's converted mana cost. You can cycle for X, one, and a blue, and when you cycle it, create an X, X, blue shark creature token with flying. That is awesome, but unfortunately, they only give you one of those. We've got Extinction Event, Sorcery for four, choose odd or even, exile each creature with command mana cost of the chosen value. Okay, so two of those, Murderous Rider, Creature, Zombie Knight, so this one's from Eldraine. You've got two parts of the card. You can either cast the creature first or the uh, the spell. And if you're doing the spell, then you can do the creature. But if you just do the creature, you don't get the spell. So we've got Swift End, 1 and 2 Black, Instant Adventure, Destroy, Target, Creature, or Planeswalker. You lose 2 life. And the creature portion is a 2, 3 for 3 with lifelink. When Murderous Rider dies, put it on the bottom of its owner's library. Okay, two of those. Drown in the Lock, another one from Eldraine. We've got Instant for two, choose one. Counter target spell with command mana cost less than or equal to the number of cards in its controller's graveyard. Destroy target creature with a command mana cost less than or equal to the number of cards in its controller's graveyard. So some nice removal there. 
and countering. So two of those, Field of Ruin. It's a land, tap for colourless for two taps, sack it, destroy target, non-basic land and opponent controls. Each player searches their library for a basic land card, puts it onto the battlefield, then shuffles. So four of those, okay. Sensor, instant for two. Counter target spell unless its controller pays one. Will you pay the one? Cycle it for blue. So you can get some card draw if this is a bit of a dead card in your hand. Sinister Sabotage, instant for three. Counter target spell, of course. Surveil one. So that means look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Okay, so three of those. Fatal Push, instant for a single black. Destroy target creature if it has command mana cost two or less. Or it has Revolt, destroy that creature if it has command mana cost four or less. Instead, if a permanent you controlled left the battlefield this turn. Okay, so a complete play set of those. Mystical Dispute, instant for three. The spell costs two less cast if it targets a blue spell. Counter target spell unless its controller pays three. And I think we saw this in the sideboard of one of the other decks. Okay, we've got a Planeswalker. Narset, part of Veils, legendary Planeswalker Narset. Five loyalty for three. Each opponent can't draw more than one card each turn. And the minus two. Look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal a non-creature, non-land card from among them. Put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. So just two of those. Heartless Act, instant for two. Choose one, destroy a target creature with no counters on it. Remove up to three counters from target creature. That would be good against the uh, human's deck. Two of those. Negate, instant for two. Counter target, non-creature spell. Okay, two of those. Consider for a single blue, instant. Look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Draw a card. So yeah, card draw, very important with a control deck. And then islands, we've got seven of those. Swamps, eight of those. Okay, so roughly equal. Let's take a look at the sideboard. So I'm not seeing too many big game finishes here other than the Shark Typhoon. So that's pretty much your only game plan with this deck. Let's see if we've got anything else in the sideboard. And this is something you would swap out cards in games two and three if you're doing like a best of three. Uh, once you've seen what the opponent has, so you can counter things more effectively with what's in this sideboard. So we've got Languish, Sorcery for four. All creatures get minus four, minus four until end of turn. So that's pretty much a board wiper in most cases. Mystical Dispute. So we saw that earlier, so we've got more of those, two of those. Test of Talents, instant for two, counter target, instant or sorcery spell. Search its controller's graveyard hand and library for any number of cards with the same name as that spell and exile them. That player shuffles and draws a card for each card exiled from their hand this way. So two of those. Cry of the Carnarium, sorcery for three, all creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. So that will wipe out a lot of those pesky humans. Exol all creature cards and all graveyards that were put there from the battlefield this turn. If a creature would die this turn, exile it instead. So two of those. Go blank. Sorcery for three. Target player discards two cards. Then exile all cards from that player's graveyard. So we've got two of those. Cling to dust. Instant for a single black exile target card from a graveyard. If it was a creature card... You gain three life, otherwise you draw a card, escape for three and a black, exile five other cards from your graveyard. Okay, two of those, Duress, sorcery for a single black, target opponent reveals their hand, you choose a non-creature, non-land card from it, that player discards that card. Okay, so then we get to look at the awesome flying sharks, but probably the highlight of the deck to be honest, and this deck... Not really a uh, meta deck. The closest I could find was like Azorius Control. Uh, if you want to see the Pioneer meta, check out MTG Goldfish. Link in the corner to the meta list there. So we've got a token creature shark, Star Star, with flying. Excellent. Okay, so he's on both sides. I think that's all we're getting. Flying sharks. And I ain't complaining. 
And then we have some uh, blank cards here for if you're playing without sleeves and you have some double-sided cards in your deck. Okay, so this one, probably the weakest of the bunch. A bit of a strange one. You've got tons of control cards countering your opponent. But really, the only thing... I'll take a quick look here. We Okay, we do have a NAS set, so that's something. Not really a game finisher on its own, though. Um, really... We've got Murderous Rider, I guess, uh, yeah, so Shark Typhoon is your big game finisher, so, and maybe the Gear Hulk, uh, if you can swing in with the Gear Hulk a bunch of times. But yeah, a bit of a strange deck, let me know in the comments what you think about this one, or are you planning to pick up any of the others? And if you've missed all my openings of the 2022 Challenger decks for Pioneer, link in the corner to the complete playlist. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.